Yates got punched in the face. Oh boy. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to the council episode one, the mad one. So we're going to continue where we left off and we got to head back to the manor now. So let's see who the other guests are at this place. This How did huge. Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? It's kind of creepy looking, not gonna lie, but I kind of like it. You can tell this guy is a rich asshole <laughs> with all the statues and everything. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. Hey! What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Vice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. Yeah, she's gone missing. Told me why she was coming here. Anyway. Okay, so I, I have to give him envelope. make him give the, the letter to have me. something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Oh shit. Confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Okay, so this is kind of like if you think about Life is Strange Before the Storm, the talkback thing with Chloe. We basically have to convince them and beat them, but we only have uh, three choices I can see at the top. Three chances before we fail this. And it says to use skills if you have to, so if I see it, I'm going to use it. Let's see if we can do this. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived? I have to convince him so he doesn't know that she's missing. Yes, yeah, she's been here for several weeks now. Never mind, give me your letter. I don't think that's gonna work, but I'm gonna say she's been here. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. Okay. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. Okay. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. All right, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Shit. Ah, uh, damn, I, don't, I can't use any of these. We are the member of the Golden Order. Professional secret, sorry. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what I should say here, because do, does he know about the Order, or like... Maybe I should keep a if secret? If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion oh, okay, and I got secrecy it right. <laughs> are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. This man is smart too. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person. What is on his hand? That has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Do I think I should? Oh, shit. 
Uh, depends on what it contains. Pretend I don't want it. You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. I don't want to say you can count on me because I feel like it's so, like, you know, arrogant of him. And also, you, you can't trust the word that he says. So, I'm going to say I, if Listen, I find her. You have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. Fuck! Let's not exaggerate your imminence. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will... Damn it! Yes! Okay, confrontation, last step. The last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are to, uh, take... You are talking to you by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either give the right one or you have no blunders left. Okay, basically I have to do it until I fail. No, thank you, no. Okay, no worries. Okay, no worries! <laughs> let me let me say what, what happens I if I swear this. by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Lisa, okay, cool. Sounded like it. an asshole there, Lewis, but whatever. <laughs> you a secret, what? Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Why is he Without telling us mother, this? Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. That's so interesting. Man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Thanks. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Okay. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> okay, hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Okay. Cool. So we got the letter uh, right now. All right, let's see if we can meet some new characters. So right now we have to go back to the group near the chimney. And, um... Let me see if there's anything around here. Ooh, hello, what's this? Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorns grant you an exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting the dialogue choices and conversation. Can I carry more than five? Wow, okay, that's very helpful. Cool. All right. Got a coin as well. Let's see if anything else before I go over there to talk to them. What is this? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Just gonna steal this book and shove it into my coat. No big deal. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, anything else on this floor before I go? Nope. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Who is this man over Since here? Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Yes, Monsieur, okay, I won't stand awkwardly standing there in the corner. Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, Ooh. President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet, it is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. 
They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. So there's going to be more characters. And we're gonna I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? You're so nosy, Mr. President. Uh, about a letter about- oh god. Uh, hey, about my mother. Let's not talk about the letter. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But no? you see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. Ha ha ha, so funny. Oh, God. Do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason? This guy's asking too many damn questions. She's gone missing. Uh, hey, she invented something. I'm not gonna say she's gone missing because I made that mistake with the eminence, so I'm not gonna say with Kim. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Uh, uh. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He okay. Must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. So he knows about, yeah, the Golden Order, but still, can Good we trust evening, this man? Friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our... So beautiful. <laughs> he can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Ask that man. Hey, ask that man. that man. Sir Gregory Holm, an English Oh, okay. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer, so don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those oh, who would like okay. to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. <laughs> no one wants to go eat dinner. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, Ooh. I won't be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Oh, shit. I have to pick. Stay and listen with Washington, which would be a smart choice, but we can learn about this guy and, like, what his connection is to the mother. I feel like we can talk to Washington later because he did say, when you have a moment, step outside with me and we can talk. I'm gonna go with these people. I kind of want to know about Holmes and whatever. Is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. Hope I made the right decision. Because I know Emily has something to do with the mother, too, but we haven't My met friend, this guy I yet formally, so... As well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover Who's so that? Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was, too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? 
I like how Lucy just standing there awkwardly. Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real yes. pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Does he know my mother? Hmm. Pretty sure he does. It seems like everyone knows her, so I'm going to say this. Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. <laughs> Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Uh, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, okay. you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... Never mind. It'll Who's come back. that person over there? Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what did my what mother come here for? What is the link between... Hillsborough and my mother? So that's Emily. What could have... God damn it. What, what could have held the grudge against my mother? Is there anyone else missing other than my mother? Ooh, ah, uh, I mean, I kind of want to ask why the mother is here. She said she had a project with Mortimer, but I feel like this guy wouldn't answer. I want to say, what about Emily? Would that be weird to ask? Sir, do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame la Duchesse. Of course, it was I who invited her to the island. In addition oh, okay. to mutual business we wanted to talk about, I absolutely wanted to introduce her to Lord Mortimer. Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. No dispute between them, then? Not to my knowledge, This no. guy is, like, hiding shit, I can Duchess tell. Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand. I honestly can't imagine her in a conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <laughs> What? Elizabeth! What is happening? I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Oh, uh, wait there. I'll take care of it. Let hey, I'll take care of it. used to this kind of thing. Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. Observe the young lady. Breathing is becoming stable and... Her heart rate, too. she having a vision, too, or something? Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can what? you tell me something about her? Who is she? What's wrong with her? What is she doing? Who is she? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment. What? That's right. The sea air can do wonders. Okay. You're all right, Elizabeth. Do you feel any better? Uh, obviously when not. Did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. <sighs> oh shit. Uh, that. She's just regained consciousness, and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Hey, we can of take course, you. Dear. Go ahead. Can we take so her? Because I would like to ask her for things. Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Damn it! You don't have that skill. Fuck! Late. It's probably the brooch, right? It's he was time talking for about. everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. A 
It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Hmm. Do you see something again? Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. Obviously! But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor... He's, his eyes sauce. went wide. Why did he Elizabeth do that? Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Oh, shit. Uh... Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very... Late. It's hard because you only have to pick one thing. The servant will accompany you to your room. I hope we made the right choice of going to dinner with them, because we learned about that girl, but at the same time we don't know what Washington and Emily were talking about. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Thanks. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? At the end of the hall. Okay, so before we go, I think... Did we get some stuff? No. Okay, let me check Elizabeth Adams. Elizabeth Adams is the daughter of John Adams. Oh, that's why, Vice President of the United States. No wonder he was just like, what the hell? He knows her. Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. Brought up in isolation, she grew up in a frail young woman with bipolar disorder. Oh, that's why, I think that's why George Washington was so surprised because he's like, you're supposed to be dead or you're, or you're not supposed to be here. Holy shit, and then she has bipolar disorder, devoured by her terrible fits of anxiety. That explains why she's so scared. So something happened to her, definitely, because there's a large gash on her head, her nails are all, like, ruined, so she must have gone in a fight or something. Her deepest secrets were slowly gnawing away at her inside. Despite numerous treatments, nothing could cure her, the young woman continued to descend into folly. As her friend of Sir Gregory Holm and the Lord Mortimer, John Adam decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer's manor in hope that he could help her. With little hope, Elizabeth has now been at the manor for a short while. Sir Gregory Holm, Baron of Nottingham, is a very influential British aristocrat. Confirmed royalist, Sir Gregory Holm spent his career 
extending the influence of the United Kingdom through the world, from the flourishing East Indian Company to the Spanish trading post in America. He stamped his hallmark on key decisions made by the world's preeminent in economic power. In England, he contributed to the reduction of the national debt and very attached to the family value he's interested in at the working class, creating charity schools in order to offer the decent education to the future links of the next industrial revolution. A network builder, home always finds a pleasure in attending social gatherings and at his own friend Mortimer. Of course, because you can, you know, know more people. George Washington is the founding father of the first president of the United States of America. Washington shared his uh, life between military and political success. Very early on, he was introduced by Sarah de Ricci in, into the upper circles of the influential secret society from France, the Golden Order. He later took on the helm of the American uh, branch tried a politics he wanted to retire in his property in Virginia but that but that was without taking into the account of Lord Mortimer who encouraged him to come out of retirement so he's officially retired at this point on the advice of his friend he ran a second term he ran for the second term and was successful invited by Mortimer to his island Washington likes to attend such social gatherings incognito all right servants all Mortimer servants wear masks it is a recurring subject of conversation among the guests no one knows the true reason that's a little bit weird. I know, you know, that's maybe that's their outfit, but that's kind of weird that they're all wearing masks. Okay, so we have to go to our room, but before we do that, I'm going to snoop around like I always do. Let's see if I can find anything useful. Okay, so our room is at the end of the hall. Is it this hall or is it the other hall? I don't even know. Huh, that's me. That's ours. This is our room. Okay, wait, hang on. Before I go in there, did I miss anything else? Damn, it's fancy. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I should open, I open it, it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's Oh, trust. shit. What should I do? Unseal the letter, leave the letter closed. Ah, uh, I feel like I should leave it closed for now. Maybe there's a chance to, like, open it later on, but I feel like it's not appropriate. I, I'm not saying I trust the... the you know, his eminence very quickly, but I mean, like, I feel like I shouldn't do that now. I'm gonna leave it Damn. closed. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I just feel like I shouldn't open it. Is that just me? Because, like, maybe it could be useful. We can use him to our advantage later on. Like, he could be an ally? Karma Light Water. Karma Light Water gives you the focus state. Your next skill use costs you no effort. You can carry up more than five. Cool. Alright, what's this? Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. Oh, I know that thing. incredible. Thing. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I was going to open the balcony, but it's okay. Guess not. That's a very fancy bed. For some reason, I don't. I wouldn't feel safe sleeping there. Is it just me? I feel like I wouldn't. Off the coast, England. Success. Okay. So alternative paths, I could have remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Washington. So I basically was successful with every trade so far, but I failed nothing. I did fail one answer though when I was talking to his eminence, so it's okay. Ayo, level two. Okay, sweet, nice. Ooh, we got four points. Can I actually pick these? Oh, okay, this would actually be very useful, so I can pick stuff now. Um, okay, occultism. I think languages would be helpful. Languages would definitely be helpful. Manipulation would be helpful as well. We can unlock more dialogue. Let's see what else is on here. Diversion would probably help us. 
And I think I want to add one more to... Hmm, I think I want to add more to Vigilance just because I think it would be beneficial. We could use this! Pick locks and stealing items! I think we need all that. Alright, that's what I'm going to level up um, Lewis to. Encrypting manuscript so you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confess, uh, confers skill points at the end of the quest. Okay. So you can pick one. Rules of civ civility and deceit behavior. Point etiquette. Psycholog psychology. Conviction. Point in science. Um... I'm gonna go with psychology for this one. Gonna definitely go with that. Okay, so that was just chapter one. Holy shit, how long is this game? Another vision? We keep be acting as a guard. That's so interesting because the they have no face. Are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. Also, I should start pronouncing Louis's name Louis because he's French, right? Rather than pronouncing it the English way. I'll have one of my I think that'd be more appropriate. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this. Is this Napoleon? Hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? What? <laughs> Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Huh. Interesting. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Wait, so was that just happening? Oh, that is so cool. So he he can even see like what's happening right now rather than in later on in the future. Holy shit. I'm coming. Whoa, okay. Yeah, hang on, I'm just gonna look at shit. Dear Monsieur de Richer, Dear Monsieur, please, Monsieur de Richer. please excuse me, but I am unable to join However, you at present. Rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh... Yeah, in a second, George Washington. I'm just gonna look at shit. Excuse me. 
Am I bothering you? Why? Just walk in. Uh, no, it's no, okay. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. For what? Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. I, I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Adams. Yep. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. Oh, that's awkward. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. What do you I want me to do? I distract Elizabeth while I search her room. I don't think that's possible. She has very terrible Mr. anxiety. I imagine she wouldn't want to talk Elizabeth to is in the small Louis, cell. so... If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Ah, uh, I mean, the vision was about Napoleon and that other dude, right? And he was talking about us and the mother, which is true. But maybe if we help George Washington like I did with the Eminence, he could be an ally to us in helping find the mother. Am I weird for thinking that maybe these people could be allies to us? I'm gonna help George Washington. Me, I just wanna see. Thank you, my If friend. I can actually like get a favor Keep out of him Elizabeth or something. Downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Okay, I'll try my best. Can't guarantee it, but I'll try. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. I gotta go downstairs, right? Okay. So she's in the same place as before, so she's over here. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What? What's the matter, your eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. Why? What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug. A Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Okay. Why should I- why should I be the one to go? No, I'm gonna go in. It's okay. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. It's I'm okay. Sure, with a we'll little goodwill, everything will See how this on. goes. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Oh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Yeah, no problem. Who do you think you are? Forget what the hell? Multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Okay, perfect. Me, sir. I have to if think we about were in this. France, I just sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Who is this guy? Hey, you! Stay out of it. This is none of your business. Yeah, but why are I'm you yelling teach at her? This little slut, how to behave? What the hell is going Excuse on? Excuse me! I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. If I step in, Adams might just run back to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Oh no! Oh no! I have to choose! Uh, I did say I would help Washington, but I don't want this girl to get beaten up by the Who the fuck is this guy, by the way? This large French man. I don't even know who you are. Damn it, but I do need help from Washington. What if I- Oh my god, I'm gonna be such an asshole. I- I need to step in. I can't. I'm Let sorry. Go. I can't. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. Oh, god. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away- Don't call her that! Mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. <laughs> Hit him. Remind him where he is. Remind. Hey, you You're know where you are. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't I would like to hit him, but no. That easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave. I won't. Is that why you're calling her a whore? Okay. Are you okay. kidding me right Wait now? A what? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. Play along with him. There's nothing better than a Hey, play along with him. Uh, women, right? They really do drive us crazy sometimes. 
I totally understand. Yeah, and every time they open their mouths, it makes you want to. So he's weak-minded, huh? I get the feeling Should you're be easy to, to exploit this guy. Me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. What the fuck, dude? This Someone threw you off balance. The cost of effort points will increase you using your skill. What? Beg for mercy? Oh, God. Listen, we I can't use any other, of it. And it seems everything went a bit too far. Let me apologize. If I offended you in any way. What is way. wrong with this guy? What's wrong? Someone cut your balls off? Can I not? I can't use any of this? Listen, we barely know each other, and it seems everything went a bit too far. Let me apologize if I offended you in any way. What's wrong? Someone cut your balls off? What? I don't understand what happened there. You should have kept your big nose out. Great! Scott punched in the face. Oh boy. I didn't understand what was happening though, that's why I couldn't select anything. I I think I misread it. Damn it! So what, it, it's over? Did not detain Lady Adams Peru knocked me flying. I didn't pick up the lady's talisman. Could have found out something about my mother's past. I fucked up basically. Shit. So I was knocked out for a day? Is that what happened there? Usually when, when games do that, like you make the wrong mistake, you just start over, right? And then you pick the right answer. Holy shit, I didn't know that you're not you're not gonna miss everything during the day. Whoa! That's actually really cool, but that sucks because I missed everything. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this video right here. Damn it, I'm so disappointed in myself. I didn't use like, ah, oh, god. I need to learn how to use the skills more properly so that I can avoid like missing the entire fucking day and like what happens. So I got knock knocked on my ass and I don't even know what happened anymore. So that was interesting. Um, I didn't think this game would go that far, but I actually kind of like that because Th this validates the real consequences of your choices. It's not like other games that I played where if you die or you make a mistake, you just start over and do it again. This one, for sure, you can't do it again. You're screwed, basically, if you try to um, do the wrong answer or whatever. So that's really interesting. Anyway, uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. I, I, I apologize for pronouncing all the names wrong, and I also apologize for not, you know, figuring out the system yet, because it's still, it's very different. Uh, and also I have to, like, answer right away, so I don't know what I'm doing at the same time. For sure, though, I will try my best not to get the right, wrong answers anymore, but, you know... Anyway, thank you so much to Focus Home Interactive for sending me a game key to try out this game. I'm enjoying this so much. I actually really love this game. It's awesome. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions because it helps me out a lot. And if you would like to support this channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. You can also support the channel for free with gawkbox.com slash a girl and a game. All you have to do is make an account, open it up on your mobile phone, download the games on my page, play them, and you will donate real money to the channel which will help me continue making videos like this and continue the channel overall. Alright, I once again, don't know how long this episode is, but we'll just keep on going. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! And don't forget to send <laughs> to Ken to Von Borschert. This guy kidnaps them and then interrogates them, and the mod's like, yeah, let's just go home now. Powerful allies to the main characters. These powerful beasts are known as summons. They are extraordinary beings that can be called into battle by their summoner. They are also depicted as